Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBS Fun. Another lesson to you. I think this is lesson 32 in our basic series. Basically, we're going to talk about the importance of naming, not necessarily labeling your columns, but when you're in the Visual Basic Editor and you have a macro, it's important to to put a variable to the column number that you want and give it a similar name so that you'll know what you're doing if you have to add a column to a report uh, it makes it a lot simpler you don't have to retrace and you know copy and paste or or um, you know replace a bunch of numbers and, and wiggle all the numbers around you got variables in place and you just you know change one or two numbers so that is what we're going to talk about really briefly there's some advanced techniques that I've learned in dealing with those uh, a little faster but I'm just going to take you through the the regular way the starter way um, so that you don't get overwhelmed so what we're going to do is we're going to run a basic report that we want to get anything let's say between uh, how about just anything that is a uh, that's a that's got a doggy any anything that's a doggy that's easy enough so uh, we'll go through these few records and anything that's a doggy we want to copy some details to this other page here so we just want the date and the naughty nice and the date and the animal and the happy sad how about that control C and we'll copy that here control V and let's see here so you see that we omitted column 3 here now that would normally cause a little bit of headaches but let's go ahead and create a macro so let's do a new module there I'm going to call this macro uh, columns variable exercise that's a big name isn't it alright here's what I want to show you we're going to say go ahead and declare our sheets get into the good habits so CS sheet as a worksheet and also O sheet as a worksheet and we'll go ahead and set these first one was called creating sample database second one was called other or OTH that's what the sheet is called so we're going to say okay we got to do a loop on the CS sheet so we need to get the CS last row that's going to be CS sheet dot cells rows dot count comma one dot end excel up dot row Okay, uh, watch my video on how to get the last row if you don't understand any of that. It's very simple once you get used to it, promise. And we're going to, so we have the last row now. We need to do a, a loop for x equals 2, that's row 2, not the header row 1, row 2, until we get to CSLR, which is the last row on the page. And of course, we have to do the next x at some point, and we're looping. We go from one to the next x, and it goes right back here. That being said, for each and every one, if cs sheet dot cells x comma what column? What column? Well, we know by looking that we want column two. But if I put the number two there. What if later it changes? Well, I'd have to update all these things. So what we want to do is put, um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and finish the statement. If that equals doggy, then, because, and then end if. But let's go back and, and think about this for a second. Let's go ahead and declare our column names. So how about this? Uh, since it's the CS sheet, CS from creating sample database, how about CS uh, date is column one, CS animal 
equals 2, you know where I'm going with this. CS nice, naughty, plus 3, and CS happy, sad, is 4. That being said, when I go down here, I can double click there and say CS animal. So if the sheet here, whatever the row that X happens to be on at this point in the loop, and this is the CS animal, which means 2. So column 2 is what we're looking at. So if that ever changes, you can just change this uh, to whatever column it happens to be later in the future, and this will then take the number 5 and put it in the column 5 of that sheet or whatever. So it's very dynamic. It means it will work for you do a lot more thinking than you have you know you have to think it all out and change all these cells all the time so if that is doggy then we're gonna copy to the O sheet that's a note I made then O sheet dot cells how about Y dot um, you can put CS animal if you're gonna keep them the same I would actually uh, have different. Uh, I would have different ones for different sheets. So I might take this whole thing and make a similar set for the other sheet. But uh, the other sheet is called O sheet. So I would say O date is one. I would say O animal is two. And let's look. Um, and then O happy sad is three. And they don't have a naughty or nice, so I'm going to comment that out. Might need it later, but... Uh, so we have column 1, 2, and 3 accounted for on the other sheet. And uh, they're all four accounted for with a different variable name here. They're different in that they, the starting couple letters are different. But everything else is, is pretty simple. And I keep those letters there to show to show me what sheet I'm referring to. It helps me out. It may not help you, but so if CS sheet is if the animal equals doggy, then copy all the details on that row to the other sheet. So O sheet dot cells. And by the way, Y is going to be equal to column two. Or excuse me, the uh, row two. It's our starting row on the other sheet. And at the very end we're going to say Y equals whatever it is plus one. So it'll increment the row. We're pretty much set up. We just need to say O sheet Y dot O animal. Or let's do the date first. O date equals CS sheet dot cells. And that is column or row X, whatever X happens to be. Uh, CS date. Okay. And then we'll just copy and paste and change a few variables there. So the next thing that we want to copy from there is the O animal. And finally, I believe it's happy sad, right? Yeah. Sad on O sheet equals whatever the CS sheets uh, row X CS happy sad column. So let's hit uh, F8 and scroll through this a little bit. We see that these are working out quite nicely. Got the columns there. The last row is 51. Starting row on the other sheet is 2. And we got a loop from 2 to 51 on this first sheet. So if this one is doggy, it sure isn't. It's gonna skip that one. This one's kitten. This one's kitten. Alright, it'll be a while since we till we reach doggy. Let's do a stop marker and see when we land on doggy. Looks like it was row nine. Alright. So on the other sheet, uh, the date's gonna be planted right there. On O 
O date is column one. CS date is column one, so I'll hit F8. We can see that worked just fine. Um, doggy is going to be translated to that one. And then, uh, but the CS happy set is in column four here. It's in column three on the other sheet, so it's really easy to use those variables to do all the work for you. And uh, y is going to be equal to y plus 1, so it's now going to be 3, yes. And hit F5, next one, on row 20. Anyway, I'm going to let that play through. I'm going to hit F5, and it's done. Let's look at the other sheet. Here's our report. By the way, we need to format those serial numbers as a date. Okay. So we have our doggy report. Um, but then, you know, what if all of a sudden we wanted to take the date and put it on, or, you know, what if somebody rearranged all these things? If they wanted the happy sad to be on uh, column two and the animal to be on column three, well... Uh, that might throw things off, especially if you did all these manually. So that's the main problem that happens. is a column is, is added or subtracted or something gets moved and needs to be rearranged in the report. And then you have to go through all these lines of code and change all these numbers. And you're like, oh, God, I don't remember what row. I don't remember what was on column four. So uh, basically, um, we will just change that up really quick. The uh, O oh, sheet. Uh, all you have to do is take the O happy sad one and change this one to O animal. And voila, you're done. So hit F5. Or actually, we'll clear this out. Uh, Alt F11. And go ahead and rerun that code. And that's it. So you don't have to rearrange any numbers or anything. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.